Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. In this pressable, we shall see a people engaging in meaningful communication. Press on. We got gang activity. Saginaw Police, 122 at Walmart. How you doing, officer? Good, how are you doing? Wonderful. Are you here on a call? Am I here on a call? Yeah. I'm here. Oh, you're doing private security? Yeah. All right. I, you guys are here every day? Oh, all right. I didn't know that. What's your name? Officer Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Well, how's your day going, Officer Anderson? Good. Any problems so far? Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. What's your name in there, Officer? Officer Shelton. Officer Shelton. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, you're working your... You're on patrol. Are you here on a call? I'm not. I'm here looking to have a case. Oh, all right. An unsolved case? Oh, what was it? I can't tell you that. Well, sure you can. You already told me that it was solved. I can't tell you that. Oh, but it's still open. That's what I'm All right. You can't. You're right. You're right. It still has to go to court. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been in the department? Almost nine years. Nine years. That's a long time, man, to be doing anything. I don't know. You like it? You do. Why'd you become a police officer? It's just what you wanted to do. You both seem like you're you're uncomfortable um, engaging with with the people. Well, we usually don't have people coming up this morning just to try to start something. Like that. I'm not trying to start something. I'm trying to have a, a conversation with you guys. And if you want to have a normal conversation, is there a reason that you want to? Record? Yeah, because then it will is with the people. See, the people I care. The problem with you doing that is just. Well, it is uncomfortable. Um, I will agree. Um, when you get pressed on, it's uncomfortable. But um, I'm not trying to uh, instigate anything. You know, I believe conversations are the key, and communication bridges the gap um, between the you know over the divide. And um, so I try and talk to every officer that I that I see. You know. And yeah, I record it and I post those too, right? And um, conversations go a long way, you know? Have you, in that way also, because if I see you on a traffic stop, I'm gonna record that too. And, um, but I'd rather already have seen you, you know? So I don't miss an opportunity if I see an officer at Walmart or Starbucks or the gas station or wherever, you know? Why, are, well, why is everybody so scared to walk up to an officer? Is that a blue line bracelet? Is that a blue line bracelet, officer? What's your problem, man? No, I'm trying to have a conversation. And even if I was, it wouldn't make any difference. It's my right. Yeah. Is that a blue line bracelet you're wearing? Um, what's your badge number? All right, you're you're much um, more uh, congenial, to say the least. But when you're in his presence, I imagine you're probably getting a little bit of his bad attitude rubbing off on you. You know, see, this isn't going to go over well in the court of public opinion. Okay, on January fifth. Uh, 2021 at 420 a.m. the people are gonna see this right and um, and they will just have gotten out of bed and rolled a joint and um, and now they're gonna have to watch this idiot be rude to the people right at 420 in the morning they're not they don't have time for that you know they want um, their their servants their their servants of the people right which is what you are you know you you should be um, polite, right? Not so obviously uh, <clears throat> put off, you know, by anybody who might want to talk to you, you know? That's not, that's just not the way. We're not put off. He is. He's, he, he's very, uh, just disgusting.
disgusting. He really is. He's, he's undulating. He's taking a two-toed approach. It's just, it's not good. He's pig-headed. It's, it's you not know? A, a pig-headed thing. I think a lot of things that people fail to realize is usually, you know, there's such a strong hatred for, towards us that we have to do. So we never know what someone's intention are when they're coming up to us. If they're having a conversation like you are, that's fine. No problem with that. But until we talk to that person, we don't know, I don't, we don't know if they're coming to do us harm, if they're coming to uh, do anything. I mean, we get, you know, I mean, we, we get threatened all the time, and we, you know, we get in a bunch of stuff, so it's just... It, you get threatened it's, all the time? Well, if you put yourself in our position, you know what I mean? Well, if I wanted to be a process. servant, but I'm not in your position. I'm up here on the First Amendment. We're not in the same position, and it's not a cooperative. It's not a partnership. It's an employer-employee relationship. Do you live in Saginaw? Right. I live in my body. Okay. And right now, I'm in Saginaw, right? But more importantly, the people live in Saginaw. Right? It doesn't matter if you're a Saginaw officer or where you're from, right? The people just see the blue line or the police department patch, right? Or they don't care if you're a sheriff or whatever. They just lump you all into one group of law enforcement, right? And, um, you know, they, they should be able to just walk up and have a friendly conversation without having the Fifth Amendment violated, as you suggested, by saying that you don't presume. You know, you're supposed to be presuming innocence, and you're not. We, we have the Constitution of the United States. What have we violated of your rights, sir? We've let you sit here and record us. I'm not here. sitting. Okay, we've let you stand here. We haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. Have we violated your rights? No. Okay. So Absolutely not. Is that because we have to constantly be on guard all the time. We don't know what people's intentions are. Well, neither do I. Does everybody have to be on guard? Uh, more so with us. You have a target on your back? Oh, come on. I mean, police officers do get killed. They do die. Um, in, in, everybody dies, actually. You know, nobody gets away without dying, right? And, um, and I will agree that uh, you, you guys do base attacks, right? But um, I don't think, for the most part, people are just walking up and attacking you. Right. It's uh, when you're arresting somebody or, you know, maybe their family, their family members getting involved or th they're resisting arrest or you're going after them. Right. They have to have a motive. And if you're worried about every one of the people um, that walks up to you, then that tells me that, you know, that they have a motive. You see, and, and I think that the police do feel like the people have a motive because the police have been depriving everybody's rights for so many decades, bullying and intimidating them for so many decades, and now it's, it's, the trust has, has vanished, right? And, uh, you know, if you're a criminal, you're always looking over your shoulder. So, so, what, so how would you say we should instill that trust in you? Well, if you guys were doing right, if you weren't part of a blue line gang, right, and you know you're in the gang, and so you know, maybe you might not be gang banging, but um, you're a gang member, right? All, all gangs have active members, have members on the bench. They're not all committing crimes, okay? But the ones that are committing crimes are, um, are creating a reputation for the rest of the gang, right? And so when you see an MS somebody with an MS-13 tattoo, you, you, know, you automatically know they're in the gang. It doesn't mean that they're gonna rob you. Right? It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean they're going to hold up your gas station. Right? Um, and the same thing when you see a police officer, you know, it doesn't mean that they're going to stomp on your rights. But you don't know. So right? Because... Well, trust is built through communication. That's what I was talking about. See, eye contact builds trust. Face value. Smiles right build trust right not this this th that look on his face does not build trust i'll tell you that right now you know and and when you're talking to me you're talking to thousands of people not just me 
right? And, um, and they don't see me. All they see is you guys, right? You're the servants of the people, not me. They don't care what I do, right? I'm not a matter of great public interest. You are. Yeah.